Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm talking about the different 9mm loads. There are three very popular ones that everyone already kind of seems to know. That would be the 9mm Luger here, the 9mm Parabellum, which you can see here, and the 9mm NATO. So those would be your three very popular ones. Um, these will all be full metal jacket ammo. Here you can see the nine millimeter. This would be in the plus P here. So when you're kind of looking at that, you can see the plus P sitting right there. And there is another one, it would be the nine millimeter uh, plus P plus. So what is the difference? If my gun can shoot all of these, what is the main difference? And that is the pressures. So all your ammos are going to have some different pressures as far as uh, the Luger and the Parabellum. That's going to be about 35,000 pounds per square inch. Your 9mm NATO, that's going to have about 36,500. And your hollow points here with a plus P is going to be about 38,500. So they all kind of vary. So uh, how do you figure out what your gun can shoot? So to kind of bundle this all together, the ammo industries use something called SAMI standards and CIP standards. SAMI stands for Sporting Arms and Ammunition Manufacturers Institute. CIP, on the other hand, just think of a European version, and it has a crazy name I can't pronounce. But, um, so let's hit the two easy ones. The Parabellum and the Luger are going to be very interchangeable. Um, they are pretty much almost the same. And by almost, I mean the pressures are literally almost the same. They're very close to each other and very easy to interchange without doing any damage to your gun. So this is also what most guns are going to use is either going to be the Luger or the Parabellum. NATO, on the other hand, uses a higher pressure round. Uh, shooting NATO ammo, you want to be very careful with it. So Whenever you're shooting this, I would usually recommend, and generally the standard for it, is to check to see if your gun is rated to plus P ammo. Not all guns are rated for plus P, so it's important to check that before you go and shoot it. If you don't have a choice, it's one of those kind of situations. If you're going to shoot the NATO ammo, but your gun is not rated for plus P, it's something to shoot in very minimal quantities. So if you do shoot that, you will end up doing some premature wear to the gun. And obviously no one wants to go out and buy a new barrel for their gun. So um, something to definitely look into avoiding if you can. So my SIG here is rated for plus P, so can shoot everything kind of across the board. Um, when you're kind of getting into the plus P plus, I don't think there is many guns that are rated for that. Um, if it is, it kind of goes with the same procedure. So if your gun is rated for plus P and you want to shoot plus P plus, or if you if you don't have the plus P rated gun and you want to shoot NATO, it's one of those things you do it in limited quantities. I don't think most people are going to the range shooting plus P plus, but if you are, just do it in small quantities if your gun is rated in plus P. So that's about it for all these ammos. As you can kind of see some of the differences between all of them with the green counts, that is pretty much everything as far as, you know, besides some of the design specifications for some of the bullets. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you like my video, found it informational, please like and subscribe.